Hello everybody, DBD here, and welcome back to Raft Episode 4. I'm glad you're here. I hope that you're enjoying it, because we got a... Well, today is going to be the biggest, most important day so far of the series. We're going to be getting our hands on some livestock. And with that livestock, oh buddy, we're going to have access to milk, eggs, wool. And wool is the most important thing, like I said at the end of the last episode. We need a backpack, we need armor. Oh, we're going to have a really good time today. Well, without further ado, let's hop in, and let's get started. <clears throat> By the way, don't forget to check the pinned comment down below for the word of the day and a health cookie. They all matter. Okay, right where we left off, and we're starving. Let's eat some food. All right. We're going to lay some foundation bait, and then we're going to get going. Start a new batch of water. I'd like to have that water in my inventory before we go. We don't need a second scrap hook on us. And we can't use the net launcher on animals until the raft is parked at the shore. And that won't happen until... <clears throat> well, until we've done a perimeter of the island, killing whatever... Puffer fish we can find. Alright, let's get some rest. We need daylight for this. Let's place that foundation and get ready to hop across there. With any luck, our water will finish before he bites the foundation. I'd like to go with a second full bottle. And let's grab some soup, just to make uh, sure... that, equip that, and gather this. Come on, come on. Shark could attack any moment. It probably won't. It usually takes longer, but... Alright, there we go. We got the water. Now we just wait for him to bite, and then we take off. There he is. Alright. Let's open our eyes, keep them peeled, and look for pufferfish, because we need all the explosive goo we can get now. All of it. Let's grab this algae as well. And let's be uh, extra careful today, because I'm actually in that game stage where I feel safer than I should. We're quite far along, but we're not wearing any armor, so we're still pretty squishy. I have to remain cognizant of that moving forward. There's our first puffer fish. Alright. Sometimes you get two explosive goo. Most times you only get one. Yep, I see one. Beautiful. Let's get some air and come back down for his carcass. And there's so much iron here, I feel like I'd be remiss to pass it up. Let's grab it. Thank you. 
Oh, ho, ho, almost got me. All right, let's take him out. Kind of tight quarters. Oh my god. Whoa. Crazy bastard. All right, he's done. Don't need a stone. Okay. Now, we're going to ditch the palm leaves and the ropes. Don't need that head. Let's grab these mushrooms instead. All right. Haha, -ha. you see that dodge? That was beautiful. It was textbook. <laughs> Shit. All right, he got me there. But we're back safe and sound on our raft. Let's continue drifting toward the island. Okay, belly is full. We don't need this right now, the shovel. We've already used it on this island. We also don't need our fishing rod. All right, net launcher, net canister. And we have to make more, but that's gonna require this powder. Boom. All right, we can make three more canisters now. All right, good. Let's get down here to where the anchor is. I'm fairly certain if you're carrying an animal and you touch the water, you lose the animal. I can use this shore to get around. That'll work. Oh, wow. Look at this. There's a buried barrel here. Okay. There he is. He'll run back. <laughs> Got it. Haha. -ha. All right, our first wild animal has been caught. Okay. We now have a clucker. Wonderful. Hey, a goat. It's, again, not ideal. I'd prefer a llama, but that's better than nothing. Alright, let's try to take it then. Milk is a really good drink. It gives you a buffer the same way that, like, a bowl of soup does, you know? Alright, we got it. Let's try to take it back now. Okay, look at that, we got two animals on this trip so far, and we haven't missed with a single net. It's very good. Uh, wild animals do roam there, I've caught them there before, it just depends on whether or not one spawned on this specific island. Oh, he's stooping. Okay, let's get moving. Got that. Okay, he's coming back with another. But we got everything up here. So it's time to just check that peninsula. That's all we have left. 
It'll, you know, it'll suck if we leave this island without a llama, but we got the other two animals. It does matter. Okay. We can get out of here without using the sail. Okay, I think it's time we moved our equipment chest over here. And then had a second food related chest right here. Just to divide it, you know? Okay. Now, let's make a bucket. We can now start collecting the eggs, and with a bucket, we can actually milk the goat. And it's a really convenient drink. Yeah, like I told you before, I'll show you why. Scrap. Alright, check this out. This is why milk is good. It not only restores a significant amount of your thirst, but it gives you that little blue portion on the bar. And it's just like if I ate a bowl of soup, except for hydration instead of hunger instead. Very, very useful. We are headed in the right direction. We just gotta keep going in that direction. And you know what? We can actually save a lot of space on planks by moving some over here as intended fire fuel for smelting. Yeah, it's a good idea. I see no far off lands. Well, our next quest-related objective is over that way. I believe it's the Vasatican. Like a cruise ship of sorts. Which sucks, I would have loved to have the backpack upgrade for searching it, but that's okay. We have what we have, right? And although useful, it is not requisite to have that armor. Let's take a look at how many ingots we have. So we're down to our last 10 iron and 5 copper. So we're going to smelt some iron and copper, starting with copper. There it is. I see the cruise ship just ahead. I think that we actually get our hands on a steering wheel and an engine when we're done there. It'll definitely change the game in regards to navigation. I think we can anchor up right here. Should be just fine. Let's get started. No time like the present. I heard from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. I knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? Uh. 
These guys are pretty easy to fight, but you have to understand their attack pattern to make it so. Oh yeah. Alright, there's our first food. Alright, we're gonna need bolt cutters to cut our way into there. That requires a blue key. This is open. There's a red key. for this journey. Olof left space for a dance floor, but no space for supplies. The bottles sure found their way to the bar. As a military man, I thought Olof would at the very least be practical. Yet they're all treating it like a luxury cruise. I'm sorry, Ruben. I shouldn't have left. Well, this is the room requiring the red key. We've used it now. Okay, we're gonna need a whole bunch of components to craft stuff here. But there's our bolt cutters. We can use that on the locker in the previous room. I saw a large rat last night. Unnervingly large. I tried telling the crew we obviously have an infestation among the lockdown supplies. They laughed at me. I miss you, Ruben. Blue key. The and a note. Does it again? He will be reprimanded. The crew doesn't listen to orders. I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow they believe rank and prestige disappeared with solid land. No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests, and they will certainly not be allowed further rations. They should be grateful. I am the only reason they are alive. Wow. Nice and modest about it, too. What does that mean? You can't just fire them. We're out at sea. Hanna, you were brought to keep the engines running. That is what you... That's one of those damn rats. What... What are you doing to it? Get out! Do your job. He's sodomizing it. That's what he's doing. Fucking pervert Olaf rat fucker over here. Oh my god. Okay. Easy enough. Now we're gonna need a combination in order to get into that safe. Yeah, it requires four digit code. Storeroom. Okay. Nice coconut chicken recipe. See, this is where a helmet light really comes in handy. It does get pretty dark in here eventually. But you can always see the shimmer of loot items, regardless. Tons of new supplies. Okay. Coconut chicken recipe. Boom. Well. It's a better boom. Alright. Let's grab what we can from you guys. Two eggs. Thank you. Extra milk. Very good. 
I'm just, I'm fairly certain I'm going to find more food there, so I'm not going to fill my belly that much. We will drink this milk, though. Alright, let's head back on that ship. Although, we may want to sleep first. Daylight helps. I'll eat a couple pieces. Okay. And then take a couple drinks. Now, I should look over here. There are items in these waters that could be useful. As you can see. I just have to also watch out for the shark. I'm pretty sure he can still patrol in here. There's nothing stopping him. Not really. Mechanical part. Oh, and what is this? Apparently nothing. But that does signify that there could be hidden loot in a crevice somewhere around here. I should keep my eyes peeled. Ah, uh, an alternative entrance to the ship. Let's grab this crate at least. Hop back down. Keep searching. Mm. Ow, that sucked. Alright, another mechanical part, and we have additional algae. Okay. Okay. Let's head back on the ship and keep searching it. We don't need this uh, palm leaf. Right, the rats do respawn very quickly. You gotta bear that in mind as you're exploring. A bullet and a note. Now they're claiming rats have eaten half of our supplies in a matter of weeks. <laughs> I promised them increased rations if they could bring me one of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for termination. Right. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a lot of mechanical parts. I think if we want to check how many we have, we go here. Yeah, we have six mechanical parts, so we can build that object now. 100% we can build it. Okay, we got a car jack. A couple scrapes and bruises, nothing too serious. Okay. Requires a key card. These lurkers have potential. Four digit code. They clearly wants rats. Now grown into something much more rabid, yet also smarter. I've already made progress on their training. With food and pain as incentives, I can discipline them. And by sharing their blood, the mutations increase. I wonder if another species would react the same. Keycard. I've received a transmission from a place called Caravan Town. <laughs> Yeah, out of super rats, that's right. Fucking psycho. Alright. Grab crate. Mango Nana. Cities in the blue. Calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least. Despite vocal opposition, the Floating Cities project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon. According to former General Olaf Wilstrom's latest statement on the issue, we are fully aware of the strain this puts on our people. Nevertheless, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must pull through this together, or join Stockholm beneath the waves. 
Wilstrom refused to comment on the rumors regarding the modification of his personal yacht. When further asked about the Floating City Project's whistleblowers, Olaf Wilstrom chose to terminate the interview. Reaching out to these anonymous sources, we were able to further corroborate his story. Okay, so we have a four-digit code for the safe downstairs, and we also have a key card for the door downstairs. We use the car jack to gain access into that special room. All right, we need a green key for here, and up there, I believe, is where we require an explosive to reach the captain's quarters. Okay. They can definitely catch you off guard if you're not ready for them. Okay. Green key. That green key opens the door upstairs. We should go there next. And then we'll uh, use the four-digit code when we go back down below. Okay. Green key utilized. See nothing of interest here. Go down there, bud. Holy. Come on. It's so hard to loot them sometimes. Okay. Alright, crate, and a lighter, with a note. Get to the lifeboat! Hurry! Olof, you coward! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Interesting. All right, so Olaf found the super rats, and he betrayed his crew. He trained the rats to be his soldiers somehow. What a dick. Fucking massive dick. Somehow also having tiny PP energy. All right, that one's down. They pretty much respawn every time you leave the area and come back. Okay. Now, we need to use the safe combination. Let's try to just go past this one. This one. Oh, man. Ravenous creatures. Okay, let's see what's in here. Wilstrom, it's urgent! There's mist now! We don't know how far the water's risen! The maps are useless! We need to- The crew are planning a mutiny, Captain! It is time to act! Mutiny? They're just trying to stay alive! I- Crazy are bastards. You mad? I gave you a chance to live! Now we have to protect ourselves from the masses. We will use the lurkers to our advantage. Fucking psychos. Seriously, yeah, they're just going crazy out here. Not everyone is built to handle catastrophe. Least of all people in positions of authority. It's always the guy you don't expect who can handle it, right? Like, look at Glenn from Walking Dead fucking pizza delivery guy and he's got every skill like necessary he just you know he needed to increase his baseball bat defense he failed to do so in time should have put points into it when he was leveling up all right so we have a bomb now we have to go all the way to the top and use it we've searched everything else here though Bomb has been planted. Holy shit. Ah, holy shit. Okay, this is no longer a game.
All right, that's one down. Two down. Oh, man. You get attacked by two of those, it actually gets pretty crazy pretty fast, doesn't it? All right, let's go in here. Captain's quarters. Oh, wow. Four hinges and a bolt in that box. That's really nice. Okay. We now have the coordinates to Balboa Island. Engine. And steering wheel. We can now make an engine and a steering wheel for our raft. Beautiful. Now, am I missing anything else of value here? I don't think so. I think the chest I usually missed and overlooked was the one on top of that cabinet, which I got. And we have the coordinates for our next destination, but there is a secret chest that you can miss up here. In fact, it's very easy to miss it because they made it so weird. Uh, the process of acquiring it is very weird. So look, I can't really make this jump through normal means, right? But watch this. This is where it gets really, really strange. If I go to my settings, go to graphics, and reduce the frame rate to... What is it? Like, yeah, FPS 30. Now, for some reason, I can make that jump just fine. It's really weird, right? But, uh, yeah. Now, now you guys know about this. There is a chest up there. You want to get it. Alright, we got it. Look at that. I got the head broth recipe from that. I got biofuel, got a whole bunch of good shit. Okay. Yes, we're good to leave now. Yeah, it's a hidden chest. Very useful. Now that we have the steering wheel, we'll be much better off. But we do have to build two engines because, unfortunately, I allowed our raft to get too large. Every engine only, only works for 100 foundations, and we have over 100, so we need two. We're doing so well on all sorts of supplies. Let's put the biofuel with our equipment for now. Okay. Two more smoothie recipes. And head broth. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, let's visit the research bench and take a look at our new uh, blueprints. Engine and steering wheel. Very useful. Okay, let's start with the steering wheel. Scrap, metal ingot, rope. Okay. We now have the steering wheel prepared. Okay, anchor lifted. Let's try to pull away from this without getting stuck on any of it. Alright, now. What's our next destination? Balboa Island, 0494. Okay, and it looks like we have to go considerably that way this time. So we'd actually be better off going... Oh. Let's go back a little bit. Uh, can we? Oh, uh, it doesn't look like we can actually get over there. We're gonna have to go around the cruise ship, so we just go this way for now. Alright, got another batch of milk. The entire crop plot of grass is watered. Now, it's time that we build our engines as well. We need to put these planks to use, and that's the best way to do it. 
Okay, metal, rope, circuit board, and plank. We need two circuit boards. Everything else has to be doubled up, too. Okay, plenty of extra rope now. Alright, we need more metal ingots, officially. So I've been thinking about where I might want to put the engines, and honestly, I might just put them in the middle of the raft. Kind of facing away from each other, like, like so, you know? Alright, now let's turn the raft around. And straighten it out. Okay. Okay, now while we drift in that direction toward the large island where we'll hopefully find uh, llamas for wool generation, we will prepare the engines for use. Refill these. And shut that off. We don't need to waste the battery. Alright, now we need our second engine. Boom. We have both. Okay, it hurt to do that. I know how long we worked on it, but it'll be worth it in the end. There. Alright, we have a centralized engine hub. And we can run around it either way, right? Beautiful. Alright. And we'll never have to worry about fuel. We are just going to keep on drifting into supplies perpetually. Alright, now, let's take a look. We have to turn slightly. We have to release the sail. All right, let's turn on these engines and get going. All right, there we go. We have forward motion, exact. We just have to turn a little bit. All right, that'll do. Perfect. And whenever we want to come to an abrupt stop, we just peek our head down here and drop anchor. Just like that. Oh yeah, a lot of supplies. Pretty much all the time. They'll never slow down. Good lighting here at night time now. Maybe we should have some lighting down here as well. Beautiful. Okay. Let's take a look at how close we are to our first destination. We have to turn to the right slightly in order to get to that large island. Oh, there we go. Large island, my friends. Look at all that. We just keep on collecting masses of wealth now. Beautiful. Nothing can stop us. Don't need this one anymore. It's obsolete. Holy... So many supplies. 
This is a special Balboa Island type as well. We'll need to make a capture net so that we can catch bees while we're on this island, I think. If I'm not mistaken, we'll be able to get that stuff. All right, that'll do. Now let's shut off the engine. Beautiful, okay. And let's cook some more of this shit. Okay. Now, we're gonna put the nests right here just so we can see the birds when we come up the stairs. And we can kill them on the way up, every time. Alright. I still need to craft something, actually. This, the sweep net. Let's make one. We might need it in order to get, uh, bees. Alright. Interesting new biome. Can't harvest those. Okay, got those. Ah, yes. Honeycombs and bees. Our very first ones, and we got them early, too. Oh, there's a fucking llama right there, guys. We need it. We need it. Oh, we got it. Oh, and that was a pretty much a blind shot in the dark, too. That's beautiful. Okay. Got it. All right, we've got our very first llama. Make some shears. And there it is. Our very first piece of wool. Beautiful. Let's research these items. So, we've unlocked the beehive, armor and backpack, and honey, used to create biofuel. Wonderful. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. There it is. Okay. If I can get a second llama on this island, then I definitely will. Oh, uh, there's a bear over there. I can fight it, but it isn't easy. Oh god, here we go. Watch out for the bees. Oh my god, okay. You don't want to run directly away from the bear because he actually has a lunge attack and that lunge is much more likely to hit you. So you pretty much just want to go back and forth, taunt him into doing a short range attack, and attack him between attacks. It works. Okay. Alright, we've done well so far. Okay, it looks like these trees are pure planks. You don't even get any palm leaves from them. Which is useful, you know. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh my god! Alright, got it.
Okay. Two more eggs. Let's get the milk from that guy. Wonderful. Oh, the bear respawned on us. As you can see, there's truly nothing to it. But, <laughs> obviously, when I, uh, when I started playing the game, I got killed by the first bears I ever tried to fight. It took practice, like... All this looks easy only because I'm doing it, but when you first start playing this game, you die to everything. But that's why I kind of like learning the game on the hardest difficulty. Uh, I never played this game on normal. I've always played it permadeath. And you know, one obstacle at a time, I, I slowly adapted to what was expected of me and pulled it off. That's the best way to do it, buddy. You don't want to go easy on yourself. There is no glory in that. But we got the dirt, and we managed to kill a second bear. Let's head back to the raft and progress to new areas, new places and things. Oh my god. Okay. We need to set up the uh, sail so that we can... Ugh, I really don't want to start crashing into the wall. Alright, hang on. I know what to do here. I'm pretty sure you can actually use the paddle even while you're anchored. Yeah, yeah, you totally can. I may have to. Let's turn these on. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we'll get out of here. Easily enough. Straighten it out. Ah, oh, and before I forget, we need this. All right. Now. Perfect. All right, that'll get us straight there. All right, let's deposit all of our island-based gear. Eat that, stave off our starvation. Now, what do we need for our first pieces of equipment, huh? I'd love the backpack first, so we're gonna need six wool for that, we have two. All right, I'm just really glad we finally got the ball rolling on collection. All the grass is watered and growing. Hang on a second. Is that another large island? Oh no, that's THE large island. That's Balboa. We're getting there quite early. That's okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it'll be alright. Is there anything else we can hit up before we go there, though? Not exactly, no. Looks like we're out of fuel. Let's load them up. Alboa Island. Oh, yeah. Oh, I tell you, this raft has really come together. This is beautiful. the required six for the backpack, I believe.
Okay, so far so great. Unlock the recipes for healing salves. Those will come in handy. <laughs> we'll even have opportunities to get more uh, wild animals here, I'd imagine. Although we do only, we still only have one capture net available. But if we get the chance, I think I'm either gonna get a second goat or a second llama. All right, we're anchored. Let's shut these off. Okay, it's time we started exploring this island. It looks pretty massive, pretty intimidating, but it's honestly easy once you've done it a couple of times. And look at that, that's our fourth piece of wool right there. It happens quick. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Hey, a second clucker. I don't want to use my capture net on that, though. Wild berries. We're gonna need a bunch of those. More berries over there. Alright, there's our first bear on this island. Okay, cleaned him up. Ooh, a bear head, eh? Interesting. It's a mountable trophy, if nothing else. Got them. Well, this is the site where you're supposed to use the berries to lure the mother bear away. I have five berries. How many do I need? Ten? Oh, oh, okay, that worked. Alright, so she's distracted now. We can get into her den and loot it. A new blueprint for the machete. Okay, I can now research and craft a machete. I think I get a free machete from this crate. Ew, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we did. A free machete. That's really good. All right, let's ditch that. Uh, ditch the planks. All right, that's just scrap metal. I don't really care about that. Not at this stage of the game. Yeah, I hear it. The bicycle bell. I need to get to that. Here it is. Around here somewhere. There. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that was, but I found the bicycle. Oh, shit, a bear. Ow, you see that shit? It hurts, dude. 
They're not nothing. Let's drop down. Okay, he's eliminated. At least for now, but once I leave and come back, he will respawn again. So, wow, you can just pick up stones on the beach, eh? I never noticed that before. I never use stones, so pretty much with those, we'll never run out. Okay. Alright, I think that's number five. Sure is. One more wool and we can make our backpack. definitely don't need this scrap hook. It's very damaged anyway. We're going to get rid of it. Deposit this one. Save ourselves some inventory space for the travel. We need a second uh, spear, though. Alright, let's take a drink of milk while we're here. After sleeping. Drink that. Milk that guy. Keep on cooking. I'm gonna keep this uh, stack of planks in here. Just, uh, you know, for cooking. That way we don't have to run so far when the grill needs a top up. One, two, three, four. Let's make another soup. Situations like this are where the soups really, really shine. They're so useful. They allow you to pretty much ignore your hunger for the time that you're here. Anyway. It's time to head out again. We did bring some rations along. We have uh, another spear prepared. We're not going to want to use the machete as a weapon because it has too much utility as a tool. We're going to want to save it for when we see vines that we can cut. Four and six. There's a bear over there. We may as well kill him. Uh, just for the sake of it. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you're quick, uh, and you time it right, and perform right, you can hit him twice between each swing. It's really useful. We're gonna need a new shovel soon. Run saw. Okay, well, we got a saw. Got that. We don't need another bear head. We only need the one. Interesting. Rosa is always, sometimes, mostly right. Except when Diana says otherwise. Lydia makes the sent the rules unless two. Okay, <laughs> all right. The bees. Honeycomb. All 
All right, that's it for our shovel. Papa made his mind up a long time ago. He's going after Artie. Miranda is following, as always. You got a weird fucking voice, dude. All right, let's pop up here and take a look, see what we can see. I haven't seen Carol all night. I asked Miranda, but she and Henry won't tell me anything. Oh, they are hiding something. Did they figure out there's only space for two of them on the boat? I've decided. I leave the triplets in charge of the remaining relay stations. Bobby will take care of the bears. Yes, it's for the best. So many memories of this place. Franz Wrench. We'll find you, sis. I promise. Okay. Looks like we have a new survivor to play as here. I can now research the fuel tank. Johnny! Buddy! Uh, yeah, could you be able and help me out a bit? Uh, I'd owe you big time. Oh, man. I would have been a goner without you. You're so short. <laughs> Tip for future me. Bears are not cuddly. Yeah, no shit. Say, you wouldn't be a raffle, would you? If you need some muscle on board, look no further. All right, yeah. Leave the heavy lifting to me. All right. Well, we have a new playable character now. We've activated one of three relay stations. The hardest one to get to. The other ones will be much easier. Now. Got some stuff up here. We have to get back over there. That's where we're going. Okay. Well, let's hop down and get there then. <coughs> I definitely don't want to fall from a height such as this. That would be deadly. Anyway, we found Brun's wrench here. Another tool. It looks like there's a pattern of finding tools. For some designated purpose. Alright, we can survive this fall now. One of three relay stations. And then we head to the ranger station after all three are done. very short trip to get to this one. No trouble at all. Alright, let's take a look around. A fuel pipe. And a note. Alright, we don't need the fuel pipe schematic anymore. Uh, the kids are fighting. Runs hammer. Oh, Hastrid would have known how to make them stop. I found her wrench out by the clearing. I've been calling out on the radio. Please, I just want to talk, sis. The Renda is screaming outside. I hope her and Henry make up soon. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the hell back to the raft. Hunger is a lot more dangerous than it seems at first. It sneaks up on you, and then when you're slow and hungry, that's when any wild animal can just pick you off. What is this? Betrayal. Father trusts the murderers. He would leave us behind. <laughs> we can't have that. Who the fuck are you, Super Mario? Father has to make a decision. I know it won't be me. So I will be spared. The guilty lay restless. We must be punished if we are to rest. Okay. Enough boat for all of us. I am sorry, Errol. All right, we got a light bulb from that. One hundred percent, though. We're gonna be able to craft our backpack now. We'll have our sixth piece of wool necessary for it. Okay. There it is. Okay. 
Okay. Look at that, guys. Backpack. Two more rows of space. We can get a lot more done now. Hell yeah. Alright, let's sleep. Drink this. Grab some more milk. Okay. Got more suit prepared. So, let's drink the milk. Eat a soup. And one of these. We're now ready for an extended run out there on the island. Beautiful. Alright. I'd like to look up there. I know that there's, you know, there's all sorts of secrets hidden up here on these out-of-the-way ledges. And cliffs. Okay, so this is where we found the bike. Took chain. Sorry. H. Okay. Ah, uh -huh, yes. The floor is hot lava obstacle course. Probably the best part, the platforms sink behind you after you step on them. Keeps it nice and exciting. Alright. Well, here we are. The ranger station over there, the relay tower over here. Let's get this done. Three months ago. My sister Astrid and I were put in charge of the ranger station on Balboa. We handled the bear population and kept the relay towers operational. The next shift was meant to start weeks back. But the replacements never showed up. Henry suggested that I start writing things down after Astrid disappeared, so that I'm not feeling so lonely anymore. Two, eight, seven, six. All right, so Caravan Town. That's our next destination. All right. Let's check around the back here. I might be able to access the roof for additional loot. Yep. Anything special up here? There sure is. Okay. Pop back down. Time to visit the ranger station. See what we can do there. Put the light bulb there to whatever end, I don't know. Biofuel refiner. We can now create biofuel. Hammer, wrench, saw. Okay. New note added. What is that? Anything special? I mean, it's entirely possible. It's just nothing, but... All right. New note added. Okay. Well, I think that's, you know, just about everything. Ah. Now it's everything. Unfortunately, I already have a ton of the achievements for this game, so we don't really know if I got all the collectibles, all the text documents, and all that on this island. I already got that achievement long ago, but 
I am satisfied that we got everything that matters here in regards to blueprints and new technology to use. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, I don't want to screw that up too much. Okay. We got a lot of bees and uh, honeycombs here. Tons of bees and honeycomb. We'll be set for the foreseeable future. Alright, and this is the way down, I think. It's a shame that we only found the cluckers on this island. I would have loved to find either of the other two animals, but... The game is long yet, and there will be plenty of opportunity to get more animals. I'm happy we got what we have so far. Now we can actually start producing armor pieces, which are going to boost our survivability in dangerous places. Very useful. Okay. Full on water now. Okay. Our island items are back in the box. Let's equip this. Yeah! One more and we can make a pair of boots. Got milk. Who am I kidding? Hungry for apples is just a ripoff of Got Milk. Anybody see Rick and Morty? Eh? <laughs> Anybody understand that? Oh yeah, look at that. A third stack of uh, bees and a third stack of honeycombs. We're gonna put these in here. This to properly divvy up the space a little better. Alright. Engines activated. Anchor lifted. And let's go. Alright, 2876. We actually have to go like through the island. Oh god, okay. Oh, we're still reversing. Okay, we have to change the direction. There we go. Alright, we have to turn some more. Maybe not yet. I'll clear the width of the island first. Alright, machete, biofuel refiner, fuel tank, and fuel pipe. All unlocked. Another piece of wool. Egg. And there is more milk available if we want it. Now, uh, we can craft our first piece of armor. Let's do it. Leather helmet. Now it's time to turn the raft. Yes. Alright, we're headed straight for the next objective. Maybe here we'll do better. We'll see. We'll test it out with a couple of arrows. Five hundred and fifty meters before we reach that large island. Oh, 
Oh yeah, 20 cooked meat, 10 cooked drumsticks. We're doing quite well. And now I'm producing more soup. at the large island. It looks like it's another Balboa large island, which may hinder our chances at getting more uh, puffer fish, but we'll see. to the raft from over here, on and off in case we get livestock. Three packages. Nice. Rug. Painting. And a mystery third one that I don't get to see. That sucks. Alright. feel foolish, but we've already searched this island. I just sailed back to one that we, uh, this is the one that we first searched before we even went to Balboa. Yep. Oh well. Better I realize that now, ahead of time, than when I've run around the whole damn thing. I guess let's just continue heading toward the quest objective then. Seems good to have the nests right there. No glitches with the shooting. We're definitely going to want to build that recycler soon. We're going to need it to get rid of our excess supplies. This guy, right here. Plastic, metal, eh, circuit board. Alright, now we have this, but we're also going to need a battery so that it can which, we are very close to unlocking the battery charger schematic. I think it's the next island that we get that. Alright, we'll just shove this guy right here, I suppose, for now. We don't need to overthink it. Alright, let's deactivate the engines. 
and set the sails so that we start going around this island. That'll do. Difficult to tell right now, but I think that's just a normal island I've already been to. Either way, we're gonna step ashore and check it out. Hopefully I'm wrong, and there's like a plane crash there, or a crashed boat, you know, one of the special things. It's doubtful though, I think those islands are extraordinarily rare. I've only found the one with the boat twice in my entire raft career. Alright. Easy enough to just hop over there. I don't even think we have to worry about the shark. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it looks to be a fairly regular island. Oh yeah, you see that dodge? That was amazing. Fucking Amazing is what it is. Okay, we can start making coconut beet drinks soon. Do we have the recipe for it? Coconut beet. Three coconuts and one beet. Yeah, it's a really good drink. Wah! Alright. Get some sleep. Alright. Full power to engines. Alright guys, from the bottom of my heart once again, thank you so much for choosing to spend this time here with me today. We've made tremendous progress today. Uh, so much. I mean, damn, we have our first piece of armor, we have a backpack, we got all three animals, we got two engines, steering wheel. I'm really happy with the layout of this raft and I look forward to watching it expand even more as we continue playing. And I think it's great that we finally got the, the uh, what, what's it called? The Vasatagan? The cruise ship is done. Balboa Island is done. And now it's just bigger, better, more dangerous places. And I couldn't be more excited to step into them with you. Alright, guys. Oh, take care, rock on, and peace out. And I'll see you in the next one. And give the, give the health cookie in the pinned comment down below a once over. You never know. You might appreciate the knowledge contained therein. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Peace!